What up, what up, people? How y'all doing? This is Boy D House. Watching this uh, presidential debate. And, uh, and uh, Donald Trump won't even let my man talk. And, uh, it's crazy. It's got to be the funniest thing ever so far. Why does it look so orange? A comprehensive plan to replace Obama. Looks so orange. You got orangey, but all that stuff on his face. Why does he look so so angry looking? And he's angry looking. He won't leave my ass. It's crazy. That's an idiot, man. Look how he's talking. He's a fucking idiot. Donald Trump is a fucking idiot. See how he talk? I mean, he just don't even give you a direct answer to the question. It's like water. He's not letting nobody talk. <laughs> That's stupid he looks. Donald Trump is the biggest clown out there. It's crazy. Crazy. What is he doing? He wants to take it away. He won't get him looking at it. 
I say that's what he wants to do. Take it away. Oh, I want to give you number three. health care at a much lower price. But because I know he has his own power. He doesn't know how to do it. He has never offered a plan to an extent. He has never given a single thing. No, but probably doesn't. Obama, I do realize that you're both speaking at the same time. And it's still expected. Let the president go ahead, sir. Obamacare is no good. We made it better. And I had a choice to make very early on. We took away the individual mandate. We guaranteed pre-existing conditions, but took away the individual... Donald Trump is such an asshole. I don't know how he's... And that destroyed... That, they shouldn't even call it Obamacare. Then I had a choice to make. Do I let my people run it really well or badly? If I run it badly, they'll probably blame him, but they'll blame me, but more importantly, I want to help people, okay? I said, you got to run it so well. That's it. And I just had a meeting with them. They said, the problem is no matter how well you run Obamacare, it's a disaster. It's too expensive. I refuse to do it. That it doesn't work. Uh, so we, we do want to get rid of it. I, we, Chris, we want to get rid of it. I understand this, sir, but I have, to, I have to give you roughly equal time. Please let the vice president talk. Good. He has no plan for health care. Of course, we can send. Please. He sends out wishful thinking. He has executive orders that have no power. He hasn't lowered drug costs for anybody. He's been promising the health care plan since he got elected. He has not, like almost everything else he talks about. He does not have a plan. He doesn't have a plan. And the fact is, this man doesn't know what he's talking about. All right, he's I, have one, I have one final question for you, sir. Uh, Mr. Vice President, if Senate Republicans, we were talking originally about the Supreme Court here, if Senate Republicans yeah, doesn't have a plan, never will, and uh, this power, stupid. Uh, there has been talk about ending the filibuster or even packing the court, adding to the nine justices there. You call this a distraction by the president, but in fact it wasn't brought up by the president. It was brought up by some of your Democratic colleagues in I'm the saying, in Congress. So my question to you is you have refused in the past to talk about it. Are you willing to tell the American people tonight whether or not you will support either ending the filibuster or packing the court? Whatever position I take in that, that will become the issue. The issue is the American people should speak. You should go out and vote. You're in voting now. Vote and let your senators know how strong you feel. Let vote now. Make sure you, in fact, let people know you're senators. I'm not going to answer the question. Well, I'm going to answer that question. The question is, the question is, the radical left, will you shut up, man? Who is on your list, Joe? This Who's is on your list? Right. Gentlemen, I think this is so this. unprecedented. We have ended this segment. We're going to move on to the second segment. That was really a productive segment. <laughs> Yeah, and people understand. In the 47 years, you've done nothing. They understand. All right. The second subject is COVID-19. It is an awfully serious subject, so let's try to be serious about it. We have had more than 7 million cases of coronavirus in the United States, and more than 200,000 people have died. Even after we produce a vaccine, experts say... Crazy, crazy, crazy. Can't even... <laughs> Weirdest thing in the world. Come back to anything approaching normal. My question for both of you is based on what you have said and done so far and what you have said you would do starting in 2021, why should the American people trust you more than your opponent to deal with this public health crisis going forward? In this case, the question goes to you first, sir. Two minutes uninterrupted. Good luck. 200,000 dead, as you said, over 7 million infected in the United States. We, in fact, have 5% or 4% of the world's population, 20% of the deaths. 40,000 people a day are contracting COVID. In addition to that, about between 750 and 1,000 people a day are dying. When he was presented with that number, he said, it is what it is. Well, it is what it is because you are who you are. That's why it is. The president has no plan. He hasn't laid out any. He knew all the way back in February how serious this crisis was. He knew it was a deadly disease. What did he do? He's on tape. He's acknowledging he knew it. He said he didn't tell us or give people a warning of it because he didn't want to panic. You don't panic. He panicked. In addition to that, what did he do? He went in and he... We were insisting that the Chinese, that the people we have on the ground in China should be able to go to Wuhan and to 
determine for themselves how dangerous this was. He did not even ask she to do that. He told us what a great job she was doing. He said we owe him a debt of gratitude for being so transparent with us. And what did he do then? He then did nothing. He, he waited and waited and waited. He still doesn't have a plan. I laid out back in March exactly what we should be doing. And I laid out again in July. Trump is such an idiot. He's such an asshole. We should be providing all the craziest thing in the world. This, this man doesn't get it. He's an idiot. In order to be able to go out and get people the help they need to keep their businesses open, open schools, it costs a lot of money. You should get out of your bunker and get out of the sand trap and get in, in your golf course.